What does Rumi say about the intoxication of love? How can this sacred intoxication, this seemingly abstract idea, guide us towards spiritual awakening? Rumi doesn't just tell us about divine love. He shows us its transformative power through examples. He asks us to look at the miracles performed by divine intoxication. He tells us what was it that the youth of the cave drank that left them intoxicated for 309 years. Rumi is referring to the chronic story of the seven sleepers of the cave. Through their faith and love for the divine, they went through a divine slumber for 309 years in a cave, untouched by time. Because, according to Rumi, they drank from that cup of life, they drank from that wine of life, from divine love. Bebin behal javanan kaf kan khordand, kharab si sad un nuh sal mast andar qar. Rumi continues by asking, what drink did Moses pour to the sorcerers that left them so dazed? that they surrendered entirely. The power of love was the very force that moved history and shaped miracles. This love is what made the women of Egypt to be so overwhelmed by the beauty of Joseph that they cut their hands without feeling the pain. It was the same love that gave Saint George the courage to face death without fear, despite being killed 1,000 times, saying that I am intoxicated. I cannot distinguish one from a thousand anymore. It was the same love that made the companions of the Prophet of Islam to face the blade without fear, the wine that God poured into his Prophet like his cup. It was the same love that made Prince Ibrahim bin Adham to give up his kingdom and wealth and pursue a life of devotion and poverty. It was the same love that made Mansur Hallaj to utter, I am the truth, and get executed. چه باده بود که موسا به ساهران در ریخ که دست و پای بدادند مست و بی خودوا زنان مصر چه دیدند بر رخ یوسف که شرح شرح بریدند ساعد چونگاه چه ریخت ساقی تقدیس بر سر جرجیس که غم نخورد و نترسید زاتش کفار هزار بار کشتند و پیشتر می رفت. که مستم و خبرم نیست از یکی و هزار صحابیان که به رهنه به پیش تیغ شدند خراب و مست بودند از محمد مختار غلط محمد ساقی نبود جامی بود پر از شراب و خدا بود ساقی ابرار کدام شربت نوشید پوره ادهم که مست وار شد از ملک مملکت بیزار چه سکر بود که آواز داد سبحانی through these lines and questions, Rumi is telling us that the divine love has the power to make us transcend time, find courage, and go beyond our human limitations. It is not just a spiritual metaphor, it's a power that moves the world. So, what does Rumi leave us with in this profound poem? He leaves us to the ultimate truth of spiritual intoxication. Love is the path to divine union. It is through this love that we heal our hearts, that we transcend our egos and become one with the light of the universe. Zahi sharab o zahi saqar o zahi saqi ke jan ha o ravan ha nisar baad nisar. Rumi praises the cup, the wine and the cupbearer. The cupbearer here is the divine himself pouring his wine, pouring his love into the hearts of those who have prepared themselves. The soul, once intoxicated by this love, becomes a reflection, a manifestation of the divine, radiating love and light to the entire universe. Rumi leaves us with a final powerful call Drink the wine of love and carry its burden like a camel carries its load, drunk by, but steady. This love brings a divine intoxication that awakens the soul, giving it wisdom, clarity and strength. Sharab ishq benushi mubar ishq kashim, chonan ke ushtur sarmas dar miyan qatar. Rumi tells us to drink this wine that flowers from nothing but God. Everything that is not of God withers and dies. 
But this divine wine, this water of life, makes everything bloom. He contrasts this wine with the wine of the world, the wine of grape, which only brings ruin, according to Rumi. When we drink the wine of divine love, we are filled with light, and our hearts become the treasure chests of endless wonders. Namasti ke tu ra aarzu ya aql konad, zamasti ke konad ruh o aql ra bidar, zahar che darat qayr khuda shukuf konad, az an ke qayr khuda niis juz sada uqma, kuja sharab tahur o kuja mey angur, tahur ab hayat ast an degar murda. In the next episodes of the Rumi podcast, we'll explore the depth of Rumi's poetry, exploring how the intoxication of divine love not only transforms the soul but the very fabric of the universe. If you want to take further steps on the sacred path, I invite you to watch our previous episodes where we explored themes of longing, of separation, and union.